heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So it's going to be a very good fight going down on uh, July 15th. If you're out in that Pittsburgh area, man, I really suggest you go out and uh, check this fight card out. Uh, Ed Lattimore versus Joshua Tufty. Now, this is going to be an interesting fight. I've watched these dudes fight before. I actually done a video on Ed Lattimore, a uh, prospect watch video. And uh, both guys are about six foot one. Uh, Ed Lattimore, in my opinion, is built like a damn tank. If anything, he's gonna he's gonna come to the fight very in shape. Uh, likes to think the game through. You know, usually when you have guys that are have that Tyson esque type of physique, you think they like to just come full steam ahead and you know try to blow you out the water. But kind of likes to think it through. I like when he uses his jab and he moves his head. He wants to get it in your chest and start to rain down uh, left and right hooks and uppercuts down the middle. Seems very tough. He's always in shape. It's going to be a tough fight, man. Uh, now, this this fight can go two different ways to me because I can see Lattimore getting in there and mowing down Tufty. Uh, Tufty, a little bit about him. He's 19-1. and one. He has nine knockouts, and his one loss was a decision loss to Curtis Harper. Some of you may say, who the hell is Curtis Harper? If you guys remember on that PBC card, Harper's the one that had that slugfest with Chris Ariola. Um, so, and he's been in there with, you know, Daniel Martz, guys that have fought like the Joseph Parkers and all the other, uh, prospects right now. John Bolden is a guy I recognize. Bolden is a guy that, um, has 10 losses, only been knocked out once. And that was a Brian Jennings, but he's, a, Bolden's been in there with a lot of the prospects. So some of these guys, you know, journeyman level guys, uh, Richard Carmack, I've noticed, I noticed some of these names, Jamal Woods is another guy. So, I recognize a lot of these names that Tufty and Lattimore have both fought, you know, journey, journeyman level guys to build your confidence, but they're not total pushovers, but they will come and, you know, try to be tricky and show you different things. And they've pretty much passed the test except for Tufty losing to Harper. But when you look at Tufty, man, when you, when you look at him, he looks like he's coming to your house to fix your computer. And I'm not even trying to be funny, man, but the dude has skills. Like he has good footwork, good head movement. Um, he can parry with shots. He can roll and dunk, duck under shots. He can throw good combinations. He has decent speed. He has all the fundamentals, man. Like I'm not even bullshitting you. Like he has all the fundamentals. Um, now the lack of knockout power may give Ed Lattimore uh, more confidence of coming forward. And I'm not going to say walking through his shots, but just trying to get and tough these chests, get them against the ropes, and try to work them to the body, and then go upstairs. But I think if Lattimore tries to fight him from a distance, I think that Tufty has the hand speed, and I think he may be able to outpoint and outwork Lattimore from a distance. But if Tufty decides to engage with him and get close and try to, you know, bang it out, I will edge Lattimore. But Lattimore has a good jab when he's working from a distance, so maybe, you know, he's probably tweaked some things since his last fight. Um... And he's came up the hard way. He was out in that heavyweight uh, camp out there in Carson, California with Charles Martin and Dominic Brazil and Gerald Washington, so on and so forth. So, you know, he's he, he's had it tough coming up. It's going to be an interesting fight. I really I really don't know who's going to win this fight, man. Like I, I really because I can see it playing out two different ways. Like I can possibly see Tufty edging out a decision by using his hand speed and movement. But I can but I'm not sure he's in better condition I'm not sure he's in better condition than Lattimore, man. I think Lattimore is going to be the the uh, better condition fighter. And I think he may drag Tufty into deep waters. And we'll see where it goes from there. I'm not sure if this fight will be uploaded to YouTube. Hopefully it is because me being a heavyweight fan, I love fights like this, man. Everything isn't just about, you know, Deontay Wilder and Klitschko and Fury. I mean, there are guys that are still working their way up. And I think that uh, this fight is a damn good fight. I, re I really don't know who's going to win this fight, man. If I had to if I had to edge somebody, I might edge Lattimore, but I'm still not sure about that. But I would probably edge him slightly. It is a hometown fight for him, you know, so maybe, you know, the judges may work in his favor. I'm not sure about that, but Tufty does have the hand speed. I've seen a lot of videos on, on him on YouTube, kickboxing and uh, seen him in a tough man competition about seven years ago. So his fighting experience is there. But Lattimore, he's, 
that, that dude's built like a tank, man. I, I think he may be able to walk through some of Tufty's shots, although I know that won't be his game plan to take him on the chin and walk through him. But I think the shots that do get through, I don't think they'll affect him. And I think he'll be able to get to Tufty's body, maybe be able to break him down. But I don't want to underestimate Tufty because he has very quick hands and very good feet. Tough fight, man. But I'm just getting this out there. If you guys know of these two fighters, let me know who you think is going to win. I'm out.